Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we're going to make some budget friendly DIYs. So let's jump right into it. For this project we need some clothespins and we're going to take them apart. And you can use any buckets that you have on hand. It, it could be uh, like uh, uh, an empty can from the tuna or this is, uh, I have it on stash for quite some time. It's one of the Dollar Tree, you know, containers with the lid. So I used the lid for something and I'm like, okay, this is going to be perfect for what I have in mind. So I took my clothespins apart and I'm just start gluing them all the way around my little container by using the hot glue. This is how it's done. And now we're going to put some colors into it. And I'm using my, um, it's uh, antique wax and I'm using a sponge to just stamp it over. And I did not use the paper towel to wipe it off because I want it to be like a rustic color and it turned out like a, this dirty wood old style remind me i don't know i think it's turned out pretty good so, so i didn't really need it to use a paper towel to wipe it off now i am using my bleach jute to give my waist some design so you can do whatever you want or you can just leave it the way it is i think it is pretty cool even without you know the outlines so this is how it looks then i got some stones that is from dollar tree and before i used this i got a piece of, of floral foam and I cut a tiny, tiny piece and hot glue it right in the middle of my little container. And I insert my really cute succulent. I have quite a few of those and I am starting to finally come up with ideas what I want to use. So then I put some stones on in my little container and I use a different color stones to kind of give it the different dimension. And it looked pretty cool without uh, this last part that I did but I want it to be like more alive and what I did I used the green moss and I put tiny little pieces and I think it turned out gorgeous all right this project I will be reusing my little container again this is all from Dollar Tree oh most of this my stuff is from Dollar Tree so I it's painted white because I used it as a vase before so I took it apart and cut a little pieces of burlap that matches kind of the shape of my container and I glued it using my hot glue all the way around it and I use my scissors to trim it up and here we go my container is nice and totally different then I did two rows at the top, two rows at the bottom, and I outlined every side of my container by using my braided jute. As you know, this is one of my favorite latest creations that I am using a lot. So now when it's done, I pull up my coffee beans and I start making patterns. And I actually went, I thought I different ideas on the coffee beans but I went with just the straight lines all the way in every side of my side of my container because I thought it would look cute but I do have something different in mind and my I might show it to you later in my next video or maybe a video after that so what you can do with the coffee beans any designs you want but I decided to just go with the straight rows and I think it turned out pretty cute and it wasn't that difficult. I love the smell of the coffee so now this little container smells amazing. If you don't like smell of coffee you might want to use something else. So now when we have finished all four sides see how it looks isn't that cool we are now going to be making a handle for our basket and i got a floral wire and i uh, wrapped my uh, dollar tree jute around it and then shaped it as a kind of like a uh, oval and secure it to the side of my little basket using the hot glue now since we're done with that now we're going to start working on some flowers 
and one of my viewer and dear friend Jennifer she requested to see some flowers here it is I am making flowers just because I love making flowers and especially when it evol involves jute and burlap I am all over it so just so you know guys if you want me to make something you can just put it in the comments and I will be happy to try to fulfill this uh, request but here we go we use the hot glue outline like a petals we need five of those and I did all um, like one flower at a time so I outline all five petals cut them out and use my tacky glue on each petal and the tacky glue is amazing because what you would do you would uh, mush it all over the petal and then I did wrapped around my finger kind of giving it a shape of a petal see how it looks and when it dries you do need to leave it alone and it's it's really easy project but it takes a little bit of time because you gotta wait for glue to dry so then when it dries the best part of it you can reshape the petals the way you like it you want to straighten them out it bends all different ways you want it and it stays that way so I love using the tacky glue for projects like that so as you can tell my fingers are all covered in a tacky glue but it comes out or comes out really easy by using just a little bit of soap and water so now we left it alone to dry and we're gonna make a middle portion for our flowers what I got I got a piece of paper towel rolled it in a ball and then I start gluing my coffee beans around it and I didn't do all the way because you know it's just you can but this bottom part will go in the middle and you not gonna be able to see it so uh, you know I'm cheap so I am saving a few coffee beans here and there now while we uh, still wait now our petals to dry we're gonna make a stem to hold our petals so I got again a small piece of floral wire and I wrapped my jute around it now I am attaching my petals and if you can see a little bit of white on the petals that means that the tacky glue is not completely dried yet and I was very impatient to start making my petals because I want to see how my flower turn out and I think it was shaping up pretty good I did five petals but you can do three and it will look amazing as well because at the end you will see one of my flowers will have three petal leaf and I thought it was it was good too but uh, five is more like four so when you glue them to the little stick then I used Oh, you can use the jute to more secure it but you don't have to I just don't want you know the hot glue to pick and through so I wrapped the jute around it as well and I reshaped it again and again and again to make my uh, leaves or petals I guess not leaves to stay the way I want it and then I attached the middle uh, that I created from the coffee right to the middle of my flower now I got a star well it's not a star foam it's a floral foam from Dollar Tree Walmart has a bunch of those too and I used a little bit of hot glue to place it right in the middle of my basket and then I start inserting my flowers into it and you can rearrange them the way you want it if you need a little more if your basket's bigger or smaller it's up to you because I could not predict exactly how many flowers I needed for this particular basket so I was just rolling with it I would make one or two more and insert them and kind of without the floral of course floral form of course before I stopped and I'm like okay I think this is enough to fill my baskets and then you just arrange them and here the the three one see what I told you and it looks pretty cool too so now we got our flowers in and I will be using my Spanish moss to insert inside I really use just a little bit to cover that green floral foam that's picking through uh, you can use anything you want um, I use the, uh, the Spanish moss because it's kind of the color of jute I guess uh, like 
brownish light brown i don't know and i thought it, it matched pretty good so but you can use anything you have on hand you can use green if you like the green color so i think it will be okay as well and that is all pretty much for this basket so i was really pleased how it turned out and one more thing guys if you would like to see another amazing video from jude on the budget click right here on the screen i have a video exactly for you so i think you will enjoy it but that was all for today thank you so much for stopping by love you guys very much and i will see you in my next video real soon bye